Dev Tribe in here. What's healthy? We are. We're going to have a special What's Healthy today. We are going to go down to our kitchen and we are going to make healthy margaritas. And who doesn't love a good margarita, but a good and healthy margarita? That's awesome. So come with me and we're going to head on downstairs and we're going to make some fantastic margaritas. This is Nettie and I just wanted to introduce Nettie because she's my boss and she keeps everything straight in this office and we thought we would take um, a little time out of our day to talk about margaritas because <laughs> who doesn't love a good margarita? Everyone. Everyone loves a good margarita and actually we can make a strawberry margarita because I think we have frozen strawberries. Oh yes we do. So we're going to do some different kinds of margaritas so stick with us but um, I think it's really important to talk about this because I know a lot of my patients come to me and they don't feel that they have things like a thyroid issue, a hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, type 2 diabetes, and you know, blood sugar issues, um, high cholesterol, um, high blood pressure, whatever it is, you know, obesity, there, there's more people overweight than ever today. And we talk to them about you can still have a good, healthy life without giving everything up, right? How yes. many times a day do you think you say that? All the time, uh, multiple times a day. So we thought we would start out today by making a healthy margarita. We are gonna cheat a little bit just for the sake of time, but if you were gonna do this at home, what you would wanna do is buy some organic um, limes. That would be the, a great place to start. And you can either cut them up and then you can either just squeeze them into a glass if you want to do it on the rocks and you can put some ice in here which i'm going to pull out some ice trays here in a minute or maybe maybe you can mm -hmm. grab some ice trays right and you can squeeze them or you can get a fruit um thing that you can i don't even know what it's called what's it called the fruit the squeezer squeezer we're going to call it a fruit squeezer today where you can just take the limes and you can go like this and you can squeeze it and then you get fresh limes okay so I know if you're gonna go like this and you're gonna do this all day, it's gonna take forever. So just for the sake of time, like I said, we're gonna cheat. Um, I did buy an organic margarita mix. Now, this one has sugar, this does not have sugar. So that's one big difference you can think about when you wanna take an extra five minutes to squeeze your own limes, which is what I do in my house. A, it tastes better, but it is healthier. Or we can use an organic margarita mix. Um, Nettie's going to talk to you a teeny little bit about what um, the, the benefits of limes are. So you can actually say, no, no, this is beneficial for me to drink a margarita. So while I pour this in here, if you want to tell them a little bit about limes and how good they are for us. And... Yeah, so the limes are excellent because they help alkaline the body. It will level your pH in your body, and brings which essentially will bring your inflammation down. Um, there's also potassium in here, so it's going to add extra benefits to the body. Um, it also nourishes your skin, so it's sometimes difficult to think that maybe indulging in an alcoholic beverage could be helping cleanse the skin, but limes, lemons, they are really a natural antibiotic type of um, fruit that we can take advantage of. So it does help to cleanse the skin, detox the skin, um, and level the pH and alkalize, alkaline the body. Um, well, I'll tell you, limes also make you pucker up. <laughs> but I got, what I just did while Nettie was telling you a little bit about the benefits of limes was I actually took a lime just like this and I went around the rim because some people like margaritas with salt, some people like margaritas without salt. So what I did was I made a margarita without salt. I did, like I said, I cheated. I put this in here and I put some ice cubes in here. And now today we are going to go ahead and enjoy a little bit of tequila. So since I bartended, you know, I'm going to maybe a little heavy handed, but we're trying to go light Add a little bit of tequila. Now, one of the reasons that margaritas and if you make it with fresh limes and it can be really beneficial, even if you have an issue with your health is because there's very little sugar in tequila. So Suzanne Summers, when I when I had the multiple um, when I had the benefit of meeting her many times, I we we talked about a lot of this, and each time she wanted a bottle of tequila in her dressing room. She did not want this one; she wanted a much more expensive one. Mm -hmm. But but I asked her why do you why do you drink tequila, and she said because there's very little sugar in tequila. And I don't know if you've seen her, but man, does she look fantastic for her age. So I put a little bit of tequila in here. Now, you could go ahead and you could drink it just like this. 
you could go ahead and you could squeeze another lime and plop a little lime in there like they do in the fancy schmancy restaurants. Um, and this one would be ready to go ahead and drink. Now, if you're somebody who likes to have salt, what you do is you put that lime around the outside, you tip it just like this, and then you kind of go like that. And then in my world, I would probably just take this one and dump that one in that one. But you can do it either way. The other thing that you might want to do, if you're using fresh limes, I buy a little bit of organic agave syrup. This is very low on the glycemic index and you can add just a little teeny bit of the syrup into it and it sweetens it just a little bit for you because a lot of us are used to eating things that are more sweet. So if they go to drink this, they're gonna, woo, that's really, really, really tart. So agave is a great way to sweeten it up a little bit and it's still low on the glycemic index so it won't affect your blood sugar quite as much. How much do you put in? I usually just put a little teeny splash in if you decide that you wanna use it at all. Okay, so that's a great way to make a margarita on the rocks. This one is without salt. If we've made another one, it would be with salt, but we did want to make one in the blender for you because I know a lot of people at the summer, they want a nice gold one. So we're going to take some fresh organic strawberries out of the freezer. So the first thing you want to do is put probably a little bit of ice in there and then some fresh strawberries in there. margarita mix to about the top of where the ice cubes are. So you can go ahead um, and then pop some good frozen strawberries in. And I usually take a couple of handfuls and just kind of pop those guys in just like that. And then these babies are ready to go. All you got to do next is put on the lid and you're going to make yourself a really, really good healthy margarita. <laughs> that you just put in 
a nice glass just like that. You can dress it up if you want to be super fancy with a lime on the rim and then you'd be ready to go. So here's a nice yummy frozen strawberry margarita. We actually probably have enough for two. One for Nettie, one for me. <laughs> Um, we do want to spend a little bit of time because we want to talk about what can you have with a margarita, right? Because you don't want to just drink margaritas, you're never going to make it home. You'll be probably throwing up on the side of the road on the way home. So it's a good thing to try to eat some food. So what can we do to have some healthy food? Um, we did prep some of this um, in the beginning so it would be easier to show you. But what, what we did was we cut up some avocados. Then what I usually do is I actually take a pinch of organic salt, Himalayan sea salt, whatever kind of good healthy salt that you have and plop it in. I also will take a good amount of, of onion because in my family we like onion. And then we have some cilantro. And you don't need a ton of cilantro, just a little bit of cilantro, but it gives it such a nice flavor. It almost makes you feel like you're in Las Barisas, Mexico, <laughs> and they're waiting on you. And these are the snacks that you're having during the day while you're just relaxing on your vacation. And then you can put some tomatoes in. Now, I know there's a lot of questions out there. Are tomatoes good for you? Are they bad for you? If you have thyroid problems, are they good for you? Are they bad for you? Do you get those questions do. quite a bit? Mm -hmm. And you know, everybody's different. So there's not a really good straight answer out of that. Everybody is a little bit different. So we have to find the triggers that are causing the problems that you have. Um, and if you do have tomatoes as a trigger, guess what? Don't put it in. For me, I'm allergic to jalapenos. I can't put jalapenos in here, but I still love some guacamole, although I'm allergic to avocado. I shouldn't have that either. But um, I can definitely not have jalapenos, but that's another great thing to put in to make it more, a little bit more flavorful. And then you have a really, really delicious treat. Now, how are you going to eat this? Are you going to eat it with a spoon? which I probably would love to do. Um, but no, you're not gonna eat it with a spoon. What I usually recommend is that we use a, either a organic corn tortilla. I know there's a lot of controversy out there about corn because corn is very, very genetically modified. Even our organic corn is probably at this point somewhat genetically modified just because of how much and for how long it's been modified, but it's a better choice than anything. However, some people can't tolerate corn and shouldn't eat corn, so we have other choices. CSA is a great grain-free brand, so if you're allergic to corn and can't have it, that's a great one. We have Benitos, which is really, really good too, so we can use anything to use with our guacamole and enjoy it. So do you want to try mm -hmm. one? I do, Go I do. I need sweet. the grain free because I have an allergy to grain. One of the great things about using grain free um, chips is that they also help to um, reduce inflammation in a lot of people and um, they're mm. great for people who have allergies. So it's a great way to do it. Um, you know, you, you're, you'll know how much salt and how much stuff, you're gonna do it to your own taste. So it, it's, it's awesome. It's I also wanna talk a little bit about salsa. Oftentimes I make my own salsa at home using fresh tomatoes from the garden and onions and garlic and a little bit of cilantro, um, jalapenos for other people, not for me since I can't have them. But for the sake of time today, um, I also wanted to show you that you can buy a healthy salsa. Salsa that isn't loaded with sugar. A lot of the salsas out there are loaded with sugar and this particular brand is a really, really great one and it doesn't have sugar added to it. And it also tastes really, really good. So uh, this is a great option uh, if you don't have time to make your own salsa. Um, I think it's really uh, important because organic salsa, which, you know, organic, natural, um, in season when you have your tomatoes that are freshly picked and everything is from local uh, um, local gardens, local um, farmers markets are mm -hmm. opening up, right? You go to those places. Uh, they're really great because salsa is really high in vitamin C, in potassium, it's heart healthy, so it's good for your heart to be eating it. There's lots and lots of flavor. You can use it on different things. You can put it on chicken. You can do it in um, all different things with it. So it's not just, you know, a dip, but you can mm. use it for all kinds of things. Yeah, you can spice it up. I use it to spice up my lettuce wraps, and it just gives it so much more flavor than just a normal lettuce and meat. So definitely utilize the organic salsas. They can change your whole meal up. 
And one of the best things is they are low in calories. So, um, you know, I know some people can't have tomatoes, but if you can, it's really a great treat. So give it a try. Um, have a healthy margarita with it. Have some yummy guacamole chips. And you know what? I'm hoping that this is opening your brain up to thinking that if we can make a healthy margarita or healthy guacamole or healthy salsa, that there are other things if we love, we can just trade it out and do different things with it. Like soy sauce, for example, we can use coconut aminos instead. So there's a lot of different things that when you're trying to get healthy, that you don't just have to give up and never eat again, but you can actually replace it. And I think that's one of the things that Nettie really excels at in our office. One of the things that I really try to drive home with my patients, that you don't have to give up the things that taste good, that make you happy, that are part of who you are. Mm -hmm. And in our society, this is who we are. We're all about eating food and drinking and enjoying and you know and being together. celebrations every month. There's a holiday, there's birthdays, there's anniversaries, and we want you to be able to still live your life just modify it a little bit. And there's almost always a modification for something that you love, so. So, we hope this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. 770-974-5215. Um, Our website is feelbetterhere.com or you can email us. I hope this helps. Until next time, wishing you loads and loads of love and light and health and happiness and happy drinking, happy eating, and we'll talk to you soon.